Hello and welcome to Beginner Guide to League of Legends. League of Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena or MOBA. Being one of the highest ranked games in esports and a free to play game, people are joining every day. This video is made to teach you everything you need to know to play League of Legends. In League of Legends, the most common game type is 5v5 in the map Summoner's Rift, so I will mainly focus on that. Summoner's Rift is a 3 lane map with jungle in between each lane. The map is split down the middle. One half belongs to your team and the other half belongs to the other team. The objective is to destroy the enemy nexus located on both sides on either side of the map. It may spawn on the top or bottom side of the map, but it's mostly the same besides some small differences. Each lane has 3 turrets and 1 inhibitor. Once you break these, you're on the enemy base. You must destroy the turrets starting from the farthest one to the closest one in the base. In the base, there are two turrets surrounding the nexus, and once those are destroyed, you are free to destroy the nexus. There are 132 champions, so it will be hard to learn how each one works. There aren't champions better than others. Some champions are just easier to use, or they are harder to counter, but there is not a more powerful champion. An average match in League of Legends in 5v5 lasts 30 to 40 minutes, although this can be faster or shorter. I personally have had 19 minute matches, and even over hour long matches. I will briefly cover the controls because you can learn these by doing the in-game tutorial. Right clicking is the move command, right clicking anywhere on your screen will have your champion run to that location. Note that some champions are faster and some champions are slower. Right clicking on the mini map located on the bottom right of your screen will do the same. Right clicking on an enemy champion, minion, or monster will perform a basic attack. This is an attack that can be performed forever. Right clicking on an enemy minion or monster will keep you attacking them until you select another target or until you move away. Besides basic attacks, each champion has 4 abilities. Most abilities are pretty unique, but some have common abilities. Some abilities include doing damage, stunning, hooking, healing, dashing, pulling, and more. Abilities usually have more than one function. An ability may seem to just do damage, but it could also stun a target if you perform it at the right time, place, or near other people. Q, W, and E will perform your first three basic abilities, and your R is your ultimate ability. Ultimate abilities are more powerful or useful than other abilities, and they have a longer cooldown. After using an ability, each ability will have a cooldown, and after that is done, then you can use the ability again. Holding down C will check your extra stats, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Pressing P will check the shop, D and F will be your spells, B will recall, which is an 8 second teleport back to base. This can be interrupted if you are hit by an enemy champion, turret, minion, or monster, but there is a certain time frame in which you can't be disturbed in your 8 second teleport back to the base. Spells are extra abilities with long cooldowns that you assign to D and F keys. Ghost will increase your movement speed by 28 to 45% for 10 seconds. Heal will restore 90 to 345 health and give a small speed boost. Exhaust is a spell mainly used by solo laners and supports. It will reduce the target's movement speed and attack speed by 30, their armor and magic resist by 10, and their damage dealt by 40% for 2.5 seconds. Teleport is mainly used by solo top and mid laners who leave the lane to buy and have to return quickly. It will teleport you to a ward, minion, or turret. Flash is used in sticky situations. It will teleport you a short distance in your mouse's direction. You can also use it to jump over jungle walls. Ignite is a finishing move that will deal 70 to 410 true damage, depending on the champion level, over 5 seconds, and grants you vision of the target and reduces healing effects on them for the duration. Smite will do damage to jungle monsters and is only used by junglers. Items will be assigned to 1, 2, and 3. Wards will be assigned to number 4 and 5, 6, and 7 will be assigned to other items. Note, not all items have active traits. Most will passively alter your stats in gameplay. In game, you can talk to other people on your team. To do this, you just press enter, type down your message, and then press enter again. The ADC, or the attack damage carry, is one of the many roles that you can play in League of Legends. This is mostly thought as the most important role because of their strength and potential to carry the team and win the game. This role does not rely on spells, rather basic attacks, or auto attacks. And items that provide either critical strike, attack speed, or attack damage. Which we will build most of depends on your champion, and I will explain building items later in the video. People who play ADC tend to play ranged champions as it allows for pokes. A poke is doing small amounts of damage over time to lower health and go in for a kill later, preferably from a distance. Most ADC champions are also squishy, meaning they have low health, armor, and or magic resist. I'll explain all the important stats later. When playing ADC, it is important to get the last hit on minions to get more XP and gold. I will mention this later as well. The support or sup. 
from mages to tanks to bruisers, the support helps the ADC stay alive and get kills. Support players are made to keep the ADC alive and to make sure that the ADC kills. This is either by stunning, slowing, or hooking the enemy for the ADC to kill, or lowering the health for the ADC to get the last hit. Repeatedly dying to enemies in a short amount of time is called feeding. No one will like you if you feed, so don't do it. The middle lane, or mid. This is a solo lane where mages and some assassins stay. Assassins are agile champions who are made to get kills quickly and usually target squishy targets. These champions can build attack damage or ability power, or a mix of both. Mages are champions who build solely ability power. These champions do an insane amount of damage in a small amount of time. When playing in mid lane, it is important to remember to farm minions, which means kill as many minions as possible. Mid lane is a competition of who can level up the fastest. Mid laners will oftentimes be higher level than other champions in a match in other lanes. To succeed in mid lane, it is important to get kills and farm to better items and level up faster. Top. The isolated and considered the most boring role, the top lane is home to tanks. Many champions can play in top lane, but usually only if they counter tanks or specific top lane champions. Jungle or jungler. He maintains pressure throughout the entire map, helping teammates lanes whenever needed. Junglers begin by killing the Grom or Ancient Krugs, then moving on to the Crimson Raptors, Murkwolves, and eventually the Red Brambleback and Blue Sentinels. In the jungle, there are plants called the Living Jungle. These plants have a chance to spawn in certain areas of the jungle, and breaking them will give a certain effect. The blast can knock away any champion who was near it when it was broken. It can also be used to jump over jungle walls. The Squire's Bloom is spawn in openings between the jungle and the river. Breaking it will give you a vision of a cone in front of it for a little bit. Honey fruit will only grow in the river, and breaking will drop some fruit that when walked over will heal and slow you. Junglers must carry the spell Smite. When attacking a monster, smiting it will give you a small heal effect. Killing the blue sentinels gives the effect Crest of Insight, which gives increased mana slash energy regeneration and cooldown reduction. If you are killed by someone while the effect is active, they will receive this effect for the remainder of the time it is active. Crest of Insight is often referred as the blue buff, or blue. Killing the red brambleback will give the effect Crest of Cinders. This will slow enemies by basic attacking them, and will give a small burn. Junglers will be expected to perform ganks. A gank is coming out of the jungle with the purpose of killing an enemy in that lane. These are useful because you surprise the enemy. Junglers need to gank to level up as quickly as other laners. Items. Attack damage, or AD, is the amount of damage done through basic attacks. Champions who build AD items are usually in ADC, top, and jungle. There are not too many champions who build AD in mid, and supports usually build AP or tank. Ability power, or AP, is the additional damage added to abilities. Abilities cast by press Q, W, E, or R will do more damage than basic attacks in the beginning of the game. When you build AP, you are adding to the damage done through these attacks. Health is the amount of damage you can take before dying. Champions who build health are champions who are built to take damage, or oftentimes people will buy items. There are items meant to increase health regeneration, or how fast you can recover health. Mana is what abilities rely on to be casted. Champions who build ability power go through a lot of mana, as abilities, their main source of dealing damage, run off of mana. Some abilities use more mana than others, but it is wise to build mana items, or mana regeneration items with ability power. Armor is the reduction of damage taken from basic attacks. Most of the time, tanks will build armor along with their health. When building armor, you are reducing the amount of damage basic attacks do, but it is wise to remember that it's impossible to completely block off a large amount of attack damage because 80 champions will also build high amounts of it. Armor, however, will not reduce any damage done from abilities. Instead, magic resist is what blocks ability power. Tank champions should build magic resist when faced with a team with a majority of AP champions or when faced with an AP champion in lane. Attack speed is probably an AD champion's best friend. Most champions won't be able to do more than one attack per second at level 18, but that changes when you do attack speed. Attack speed is written down at 0.83, or 1.53, 2.4, etc. 0.83 means that you do 0.83 attacks per second, so you'll do 2 around every 3 seconds. 1.53 attack speed means that you do 3 attacks in 2 seconds. The limit on attack speed is 2.5, but it's wise to build more attack damage than attack speed. Critical Strike is the increased amount of damage done in basic attacks. Critical Strike is measured in percent, so 5% Critical Strikes means that around 1 out of 20 attacks will do extra damage. The amount of extra damage done depends on the champion. Critical Strike goes very well with attack damage and attack speed. Attack damage, because more attack damage means more 
damage done in critical strike and attack speed because you will do more critical strike more often. It is possible to reach 100% critical strike, but anything above that won't count. So 110% critical strike won't add anything else. Instead of mana, some champions use the energy. Only 5 champions use this, including Akali, Kennen, Lee Sin, Shen, and Zed. Energy champions have a maximum of 200 energy, but it regenerates far faster than mana. Only Shen can get 400 energy. Mana and mana regeneration items will not affect energy. Only the blue buff will increase energy regeneration. Other champions don't use mana at all. 5 champions draw from their health instead of mana or energy, but the other 12 have spells that don't use mana at all, that have no cost for mana or energy. For these champions, cooldowns are usually longer. Champions who draw from their health include Aatrox, Dr. Mundo, Mordekaiser, Vladimir, and Zack. Those who don't draw from anything include Katarina, Rengar, Riven, Yasuo, and Trindomir. Cooldown reduction is reducing the amount of time you have to wait before being able to cast an ability in. So, a spell with an 80 second cooldown, with 10% cooldown reduction, will have a cooldown of 72 seconds. Cooldown reduction is maxed out at 40%. Life Steal is healing yourself through basic attacks. It is very useful because some attack damage items also give life steal, so you can heal yourself as you fight. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I know I ended kind of abruptly. Um, I'm gonna have a part 2 to this video that sort of explains everything else that wasn't explained to this video, and when you watch both of the videos, when they both come out eventually, it's gonna make a lot more sense. So just remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel to be notified when it comes out, and hit the ringy bell thingy. This is Super Bacon Gaming, and I'm out.